Hi everyone, right, I'm gonna do a quick review of my Brevity camera bag. It's the Brevity The Rucksack. Um, and now Brevity are a reasonably new company. They've been going a little while now though. Uh, they started off with uh, this bag, which is called The Rucksack. Uh, they do a roll top version, which is also really nice, which I think is a little bit bigger than this one. Um, also, I think the material it's made of is different as well, which I think is a kind of a really seriously weatherproof material. This is fairly weatherproof anyway, actually it's nylon and it's pretty good, plus it also has a rain cover as well for good measure. Uh, they also do a bag called the Original, which as you would imagine is a bit more of a traditional uh, style of rucksack. Um, so they were their three main bags, but they've actually got a couple of new ones coming called the Roma and the Scout, which are smaller rucksacks, which are really, really nice. Um, they're gonna be of interest, I think, definitely to mirrorless camera users like myself. Um, so they look really interesting. Uh, by the way, this bag uh, was purchased by myself from, from Brevity and I had it shipped to the UK. Um, the cost of it came just under the, uh, the amount that I would need to pay import duty, um, but I did have to pay VAT and I did have to pay the Royal Mail handling charge. Um, but personally, I think that was worth every penny because I don't feel I can get a bag quite like this in the UK. So anyway, brevity.co is where you would head to if you want to go and buy one of these bags. Okay, let's have a look around it. Um, it's pretty versatile in how you can set the bag up, which I think is gonna be really useful because photographers are gonna have different amount of gear, different cameras and big cameras or small cameras, and we need to be able to make sure that the bag is versatile enough to, to cope with that. Okay, so the top compartment of the bag is really reserved for sort of more personal items rather than the camera gear itself, uh, and I think that that's really useful. So we've got these two little clasps, plastic clasps here, uh, and that means that you can undo the top, top part of the bag. They are plastic, but they do seem really heavy duty. I know that Brevity have updated this, this model, and I think most of the, the bags they do, they've updated slightly. There's some, some new branding, which they've updated their branding, and I think they updated some of the hardware on the bags as well, which personally I've not had a problem with these anyway, but um, I guess they, they've updated them for the better. Um, there is some zip pockets here um, to keep all manner of things in here. I keep a, an emergency poncho for the British weather. Um, some USB cables and things in the top there as well. Um, lots of pockets in this bag to be able to store things in. Even inside the bag, there's another zip pocket here which is, is really, really useful too. The main compartment at the top here has a drawstring, so we can undo that and just pull that out like that. And then you can put in there your pack -a mac your lunch, whatever you wanna put in the top there. Um, and actually, let me just spin that round. There's actually a, a hard divider, which actually zips in. So you can unzip it and then fold that hard flap down. Um, so if you wanna use it as a straight through rucksack, then you can do. Uh, but I usually have that there and I just store different things in the top part. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this. Now this is just like a, a lens uh, holder, lens insert. It's a padded little case. This didn't come with the, the bag. It's nothing to do with brevity. I bought this separately. And I just keep in there my external hard drive, my power cord for my Mac, my mouse, those kinds of things. And then I just fasten that up and then just pop that in the top of the bag like so. Um, just spin that back round. I'm just gonna pop in a few more bits now. So I've got a mid-2015 MacBook Pro, 15 inch, and that's gonna just go into the laptop sleeve at the back of the bag. So you, you get to this via the main compartment of the, of the bag, and then just slide the laptop down into that insert. Um, now it was a little bit snug to get the laptop in there at first, but it's loosened up and it's absolutely fine now. But I know through feedback from customers that they actually made that laptop insert just a little bit bigger as well, so that shouldn't be a problem to you. Okay, now I've got my bits and pieces in the top and I've got my laptop in here. I'm just gonna pull the drawstring here, fasten that nicely, pop that in there. And now that narrows the top of the bag that when you fold the, the cover over, it's gonna be nice and weathertight. And just do those clips like so. Okay, and we're in. Good, okay, we need to get our camera gear in here, so let's do that. Now, we've got a zip on the side here, just here. Okay, and let that fall down there. So 
That's the bag uh, pocket, and then you've got the insert itself. Now this camera insert here is completely removable. You can take that out and you can customize it. You've got obviously all the dividers which are a Velcro or hook and loop, uh, and you can just basically move those to, to wherever you want. Um, I'm gonna put my main camera in this side. Okay, and the reason I put my camera there is because there's actually a side access panel which is really useful. So I'm gonna put the stuff that I wanna to get to most often uh, right next to that side panel. Okay, so camera's in there, let's put a lens in there. What have I got here? So that's a Fujifilm X-Pro1. Uh, this is a 35 millimeter f1.4 lens. And I've also got a 23 millimeter f1.4 lens, which I'm gonna put in there. Okay, then I've also got a Fujifilm X100T, which I'm gonna pop in there. That's it, just enough room in there. So you can see I've got a fair amount of stuff in there all nice and snug and nice and safe in those padded dividers. Then just kind of close the um, internal uh, compartment up. I don't bother zipping those up actually because I've got the zip from the outside so it's much quicker to get in and out and get your gear if I leave that and I leave it open like that. Zip it up all the way around, nice and safe in there. Okay, then we've got the front pocket. You've got these two magnetic clasps, which uh, work really well just to keep that flap down. And I'm now just gonna unzip that and show you inside there. Okay, one of the things I like a lot about this bag is it's got these little elasticated pockets and I can store four of my Fujifilm batteries in there. Um, all mirrorless users will know that mirrorless cameras use a lot of battery power, so having some, some spare batteries is always really useful. Place for your pens, you know, business cards, cables, notepads, you know, there's, there's lots of storage even just in that front pocket. Let's just zip that up. Okay. Uh, over on this side, we have got a pocket here, which basically I think is for a water bottle. Um, and you've got a little clasp as well, so you can just pop your flask in there or your water bottle. Let's just do that like that. Okay, and then just adjust your strap. Put it around there. Okay, slightly smaller this class, but still very strong. Um, and we're done. Now, the spin the bag around, show you the back. So, what do we got here? We've got the main uh, straps here, quite wide, padded, um, strong and comfortable. Padded back to the bag, uh, which is that sort of airflowy type material which stops you getting too hot. Uh, the straps themselves have got little D-hooks on, D-loops, so that you can put accessories on there. I've got this neat little uh, carabiner torch, which I find really useful. Um, there's a lens cap holder. I don't think I've ever used that, but um, it's there should you want to. Um, and you've also got a sternum strap just to go across your chest here, which I find is great because it just keeps the bag really secure and stops it from slipping off your back. Um, so that's useful, I use that quite a lot and I didn't think I would actually, but um, yeah, it's really good. And then if I can just move the straps out of the way for a second, you can see that at the base of the bag here, you've got these two sort of side panels. Now these are zip pockets and what I've done is I've tucked into there the, the waist strap. Um, I don't use the waist strap very often, but I think for those that are cyclists or sort of doing some pretty serious kind of mountain stuff, I think this is gonna really help to, again, just stop the bag from, from moving side to side. I kind of wish that these would be removable, that you could just kind of join them here or something, but um, I don't know whether that's physically possible. But um, as I said, I just use these little zip pockets to tuck in the straps here, and that at least does keep them out of the way. Okay, let's just turn the bag back round and look at the bottom of the bag. Okay, and we've got these straps here. This is where I'm gonna put my tripod. Now this is quite a lightweight tripod. Um, it's a new one actually, it's made by Rolly. And just do that up. So this is perfect tripod for someone like myself using a mirrorless camera system, it doesn't have to be too big and too heavy. But I have used a much heavier um, tripod on this bag before and found that these straps have been perfectly up to the job uh, and making sure that's not gonna go anywhere. So the whole bag now is quite, you know, it's got a, quite a lot of stuff in it, but it's, it's pretty secure and I've got no problems at all with, with any of that. 
So uh, there we go. As I said, I've had the bag for over a year. It's lasted really well. Um, in fact, it really doesn't look like it's a year old. Um, you know, I think, and uh, you know, I've got no problems at all with recommending this bag. Um, I like the style of it, like the look of it. It's comfortable to wear, and it's also lasted really well. So no, no hesitation recommending brevity on that note. Okay, hopefully that's been useful. Many thanks. Cheers. Bye.